Feel kind of good? Yes, it does. Look at that. <laughs> Hey there folks and welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. Now for today's video I'm actually still driving through some of the content from 2020 that I never got to show you. So I hit the water today with my buddies Jared and Jamie and man we got on the crash it took home a bushel but along with all the action in this video I'm going to pass on to you some tips I think are really important for patterning and catching those crabs those Maryland blue crabs as they make the fall transition. Now stick around for a surprise at the end as well. And if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you check out my crabbing playlist. Got a lot more tips out there for you. Some monstrous, monstrous crabs, rockfish along with it, and a true blue crab. Super rare catch. Make sure you check those out. Now let's get to the video. Oh, better slow that down. Ooh. <laughs> if I hadn't slowed that down, it'd be in a tree. I watched him down on YouTube the other day. He was out trolling for rock, or uh, fishing for rockfish. Boats everywhere, couldn't get his own spot. He was getting all pissed off, so he drove like a quarter mile away from everyone, dumped this giant bag of popcorn. Seagulls went <laughs> up. Never seen him over. He went over and <laughs> shanked it off. <laughs> the best I've ever seen. It's a nice sunrise, man. Beautiful place. I thought so. I thought so. Yo, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. That's getting up there, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Y'all are so pretty. Look at that. That's a big crab, dude. Now folks, if you can't tell from watching Jared pull these lines, we're fishing these things deep. And part of the hazard with that is that you end up hitting yourself with the float and you have to manage a lot of line. I think on this day we were fishing down around 15 feet or even a little deeper because this was late in the season. This was, I believe, late October. So later in the season, you have to go deeper for the crabs. So that's what the crabs do as the water cools, they move to deeper water. So make sure you have enough line on your traps to fish that deeper water. And as you're fishing it, <laughs> make sure you have your poles ready so you can handle all that line. Good to start with the crab on this end. Yep. And that's the next line out there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good deep line. Yep. And one other tip here while we're at it, folks. Because of that fall transition you have where the crabs are moving from their summertime depths to their fall depths, it sometimes helps to run two different lines. We ran one in between about 10 to 12 feet and another down around 15, maybe as deep as 17 feet. It helps to zero in on where they are. So, to that end, it can help to have some traps with different length lines, but the tactic overall is really just trying to help you zero in on exactly where the traps are. Turn it off when you pull a blank. Right. <laughs> it ain't gonna be this time. <laughs> Man, if you ain't 
smile and pull a trap like this. <laughs> Oh, you! I got you. <laughs> got you by the claw. Keep it up. Let go, dude. There you go. Now let go. <laughs> All right, man. My arm's getting tired. You need to pull a blank. Hey, no, <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Funny, if you lost the line, it's straight, 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 and at that last minute it picks up. You know he's got a crab. <laughs> Used to watch my dad's face. He was just going great. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a grin and a struggle at the same time every time he had a crab. That's a sook. It's our first big sook. I'll play it. Need it. You shall be friends. <laughs> so I covered this in my other crabbing videos, but if you're not familiar with the term sook, that means a female blue crab. You can only keep those if you're a commercial crabber. And you can tell them apart because the apron on the underside of the crab is much, much, much wider on the females. So as you're crabbing out there, make sure you check that. You do not want to be caught harvesting a sook if you're not a commercial crabber. Yes, sir. Those jellyfish ain't with you, man? Uh -uh. All right. Not yet. Yeah, dude. Mm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Got him by the arm. Yeah, that's a little better. I know, not, not quite a keeper, but that's an improvement. Yeah, buddy. That's a crab. Hello. It's crazy how much different they feel when they're on the side of the trap rather than flat on that bottom. And they turn sideways, man. So that's a great point to emphasize that Jared just made, and I've covered before in at least one of my videos. When you're pulling these traps, a lot of times you can tell if there's a crab in it. But sometimes, when the crab turns sideways, because it creates so much less water resistance when they're sideways, you might not realize there's a crab in there. So, always make sure you're pulling as if there's a crab in there to make sure he doesn't get out. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, look at that big beauty. Oh, that, don't grab me now. Don't grab me, bro. <laughs> There's a good one. I usually have, like, my dad runs it one time. My wife would drive it one time. We're running them over. <laughs> the wind will be blowing it sideways. And that's another great point right there. Now, Jared was just saying how important it is to have someone at the helm driving the boat who's going to get you just the right distance from these buoys to be able to grab them effectively. Luckily, Jamie's a pro at this, but it's crucially important, folks. Feel kind of good? Yes, it does. Look at that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Big old soot. <laughs> Killed him, man. He's dead. So folks, you saw in the title something about a giveaway. Well, recently, if you haven't seen yet, I passed 4K subscribers. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone out there who has always supported me on this channel. I couldn't do this without you, you know, without you enjoying these videos, that there's really no point to this. So what are the details in the giveaway itself? Well, here we go. I'm gonna do a month long giveaway and the giveaway will be based on the long form content videos. Cause if you've been watching the channel for a while, You've noticed I'm putting out the short form, the YouTube shorts, Monday through Thursday, and then long form content on Friday. Well, it'll be the long form videos that I need you to like, comment on, 
and make sure you subscribe to the channel. That will be the way that you're entered into the drawing, which will then be based on the randomized drawing of those people who have liked, commented, and subscribed on the long form content videos in the channel. Now, what's going to be the giveaway? It's going to be two giveaways based on like, comments, and subscribes, and one based on what I'm going to call a bonus giveaway, which I'm going to keep the conditions of that kind of secret, but <laughs> you'll see how it turns out in the end. Now, what's going to actually be given away? Well, we're going to have Bass Pro gift cards. We're going to have a lot of the lures from our various sponsors as part of Snakehead Outlaws Elite. So in the next video for long form content, I think I'll be able to show you a lot more of that actual gear. But this is it. This is the first long form content video on which you need to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to be entered into the giveaway. So thanks again, folks. The last thing you'll see here in this video is going to be <laughs> visions of my family as we were starting to actually steam these crabs. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy the video. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, folks. Watch out. Watch out. Um, I'm not sure how well these things are going to hold them, but we'll see. Oh, they're very bad. Spicy. Those are crazy. Oh, God, baby. Really? Yeah, sorry. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy, what are we done? Are uh, you good?